Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to graph parametric equations and actually find the orientation in the TI-84 calculator. So the first thing we have to do is change the mode to parametric. So I'm going to go here to mode and I'm going to go down here to where it says parametric. So down, 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 go over to parametric, then let's click enter one time. So it looks good. So again, we went to mode, go down to parametric, go over to parametric, hit enter. To exit the screen, you want to hit quit. So quit is a blue key, so you have to hit second first. So second, quit. All right, good stuff. So now we have to enter these into our calculator. So we're, gonna, we're going to click Y equals. Perfect, and now we're in parametric mode. So x is 5t minus 2, so it's just 5. And then just hit the variable key, that should give you the t, minus 2. Then just hit enter. And the second one is 2t plus 1, then you hit enter. All right, so then just hit graph, and it should give us the graph. There it is, that was really, really quick. So how do you find the orientation? Well you might have already noticed it's going up and to the right by the way it was traced. But there's a cheap hack that um, I came up with uh, that will give you the orientation. So if you go to Window, notice it says Tmin and Tmax. I just hit Window to get here. I'm going to change the Tmin to like negative 50 and the Tmax to, I don't know, 50. And T-step is that number there. That's actually pi over 24. There's a very strange reason that I have that memorized. It has to do with polar graphs, but let's change it to 0 0.05. All right, and now let's hit graph. So I made it small. So basically the trick is you go to window and you make your step really small. Now, if you make it too small, your calculator might freeze and take forever. So it was at 0.13, so I decided to go with 0.05. So watch this, hit graph, and then you can watch it get traced out. So I guess we have to be patient now. Hopefully I didn't make it too small. I, I did make the step quite big, so it might take us uh, a little bit of time. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so it passed through there, and it's still working. So you saw it get traced out, so that's how you see the orientation. So still working. Let me do it again and change the step, make it a little bit smaller, the, rather the, the range. And I'll make the step smaller so you can see it a little bit better. So 0.03, here it comes. So you can see the orientation. That's the way it's going and that is the orientation. I hope this video has been helpful.